the mind is probably the biggest troublemaker in the world. And so when we're meditating, we're trying to bring this troublemaker and train it. So at the very least, it doesn't make trouble for ourselves. And when it doesn't make trouble for ourselves, we're not going to be making trouble for anyone else. Because it's the mind that creates issues. And some issues are actually worth creating. The issue of how to, how to find true happiness, how to train the mind, that's an important issue. It's the issues, and I don't like this, I don't like that, this has got to change, that's got to change, I can't stand this, can't stand that. You've got to question those issues. Those create a lot of trouble. So try to get the mind still. It's only then that you begin to figure out, okay, which issues are really worth following and which ones are not. Because you see the mind in action. All too often we don't see the mind in action because we're in the action. It's like wearing a suit of clothes. You don't see the clothes. As long as you're in them, you can see them when they're off you. So you want to step back from the thoughts of the mind and just see what's going on here. How is my mind creating trouble? And in some cases, it's because there is trouble coming from outside, but a lot of times we're the ones who create trouble about what's going on outside. What comes out from, into the mind from outside is just contact at the senses, and it's pleasant and unpleasant. You can leave it at that, but most of us don't. And so an important part of training in the concentration is training in patience and endurance, your ability to put up with unpleasant things and not react. So you can see what's actually going on. Sometimes you hear that by not reacting you burn away the past karma, but the Buddha never talks about burning away past karma. In fact, that was one idea that he actually made a lot of fun of. He asked some Jains one time, all this karma you're burning away from your practice, have you, do you have a way of measuring how much karma you burned away today? Of course they don't. The purpose of being still and being with things that are unpleasant is how you can see how the mind creates suffering around them, and that the suffering is unnecessary. Once you see that it's unnecessary, then you drop it and you realize, okay, that issue is not necessary at all. There are some pains you have to put up with as part of the practice. Some suffering is necessary, but an awful lot is unnecessary. That's the stuff you're piling on top. The world doesn't offer you any unnecessary suffering. You're the one who puts the unnecessary suffering on top of it. When you see things in that way, it's a lot clearer about where the real issues are, where you should focus your main attention. Cleaning up these habits of the mind, that's the number one duty. We'd like to straighten out the world, make it a much better place, but the world, for some reason, doesn't want to seem to be straightened out. We can straighten out our own minds, though. 